All right, guys, what's up? Kamikaze here with the kiosk update. As you can see, looks pretty nice. Um, not as bad as uh, in shape. It's pretty nice. I don't know if I mentioned in the other video, but I did have this this cover. And I realized since I've been playing around with it for like a day, well, almost like half a day, I realized I couldn't get this in without having this open. So. I couldn't open it like I said in the vi in the video because this was locked. So I had to, I had to get a key. Now before I get to that part, I figured out what this metal piece was that had extra and it was for the the TV mount. It pretty much just slides up and down. Whatever. It's like kind of weird. But you get the idea. And then you close it and then it locks right here. That I figured out that now, for this part, I actually had to figure out how I was going to get this open. I don't know. I was going to either break the lock or, I don't know, like jam it open pretty much. Because I have no clue what to do. But I realized, you know, the locks are there. And I was like, hey, I'm going to try to pick these locks. Because I know it's possible to pick locks. And, uh, you know, I just looked up some videos on YouTube. You know, because I, I didn't really know much about the locks. I knew how a lock works. I just didn't really know how how you pick them. And uh, pretty much you just turn it a little bit, pick each knob up. Pretty simple. Uh, it was awesome. I actually got it open and I picked the lock. No key required. But the only thing, I can't lock it. So I could probably just take these out and then maybe put a different lock. But I did open it. So now... I can take the display out and put it back on. So that's real nice. And this is my this is just a 360 I have laying around. It doesn't work, but it's got the red rings, so um, I think it's pretty much unfixable. I think I fried the motherboard or something. I like did something to try to fix it. But yeah. It's pretty much just there's nothing in here. If anyone knows like what cords go in here, comment below because uh, kind I kind of want to know what like how this stuff works. I know I, I'm missing like the controls that like stick out, but I did. I went back to the dumpster the next day. Didn't have anything as I expected, but I couldn't find those pieces. They probably could have been in a garbage bag, but like I said in my last video, there's so many garbage bags from the food restaurant that I didn't even feel like looking through it so that's the only problem uh, I did find this USB cord I don't know what this is for like it was in, like say it was inside and then this was just sticking out like this I don't know what it's for I'm gonna assume it's for like the headset or something but um, no clue whatsoever but yeah the Xbox kiosk is uh is real nice real nice yeah so that's my little update oh and then the back too uh, I kind of forgot uh, I do have the pieces um, I just taped them together because yeah I didn't really feel like finding some screws but I mean it holds up so it's it's nice and uh, it does power up so hold on I'm gonna have to get a plug converter because these are two prong and whatever but I'll be right back all right so I got my plug converter because it's uh, my wall over there. It's like old school. So it's a two prong instead of a three one. So I'm going to plug this in. Show you guys it lights up. Right, come on. It goes like upside down. So there it is. It's kind of loud, but all the fans work. Off the light. Everything works pretty good. You know, it's pretty much complete without the, the TV monitor, but everything lights up. The fans are working, as you can hear them. Uh, or maybe I'll show you the, the bottom. I can always put this back later. But yeah, everything works fine. You got the plug, the bottom, the fans going. So, real nice to have all this. I'm probably going to get some real screws next time instead of this tape. But, I mean, everything works good, so it's real nice. Pretty happy that they didn't cut all the cords or anything. So, 
hopefully I can find a PS3 kiosk, but uh, I feel like my luck is out. But, you know, I'm, never gonna, I'm not going to stop. So I'm going to show you the, what I did with the PS Vita uh, kiosk in a bit. It's upstairs, so probably got to cut to that. Alright, so I got the PS Vita kiosk in my little storage room where I keep all my dumpster dive stuff. Um, I'll probably show that in a later video. So, I'm thinking about it. Yeah, so the only thing wrong with this kiosk, like everything was fixed. Everything was working order, but the speakers. So, I want to show you that real quick, that they cut them. All I did was uh, re-solder them, pretty much. Let's see if you can if I can show you that. It's a little hard to see. Um, right there, I like resoldered it, fixed it. There's some tape. If you can't see it, it's taped. And then this side, the speaker was cut. So right there, it's taped up, taped to the speaker. And that was the only problem of this kiosk is the speaker is not working. But everything else is flawless. You know, everything flows pretty good. Maybe I'll keep this light on. That's kind of lighting in here is kind of kind of sucks. But yeah, that's the only that was the only problem with the kiosk. So everything works now. I'll plug it in to show you guys. Everything boots up, fine as ever, like the first day I found it. Real nice. Uh, let's see, you pick something, and it will work. It will play the video. Look at that. Look at that beautiful sound. The sound of a kiosk. I don't know, if that, I don't know how, that, how well that picks up on the camera, but... It picks it up pretty good. I wish I had better lighting in here, but yeah, it's real nice. I'm glad I fixed the speakers, man. It's really loud too. I, I actually didn't expect it to be this loud. But yeah, that's pretty much my kiosk update. Um, like I said, I've got these things too. They go on the back and they pretty much help mount it on the wall. I don't know if I mentioned that. Here goes the PlayStation logo. So yeah, that's my uh, kiosk update. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, I forgot too. I'm so glad I've reached 500 subscribers. I did not realize until uh, a couple days ago. I was like, wow, 500 subscribes, 500 subs, man. I remember when I only had like two, two or 300. I was like, wow. So thanks a lot for subscribing and sharing my videos. Hopefully, um, I've got a couple Nintendo points stacked up and like some Xbox points and PS3 points. Well, not really PS3 points, but PS3 like DLC stuff. And I'm planning to give those away, get back to you guys since I can't really send out stuff. Because unless you're willing to pay for the, the shipping, maybe I will. But I can't really give out stuff like that because, you know, money's kind of tight. Reason why I kind of dumpster dive, but... The other one, other reason is it's kind of fun. Maybe next time for my video I'll show this uh, game room. Or not game room, my storage room where I keep all my dumpster dive stuff. But yeah, thanks for 500 subs guys. Really appreciate it. I honestly did not notice until a couple days ago. and It's kind of cool. So thanks for watching guys. If you haven't already, subscribe. Like the video down there. Comment below. Uh, tell me like about your kiosk and whatever your finds are and all that stuff. So until then, see you in the next video. Hopefully it's a giveaway.